Hey everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I've got to share with you a really cool new set of releases out of the UK called The Film Vault. This is a collaboration between artists like Matt Ferguson and Vice Press, who I've covered on my podcast and actually interviewed, as well as Warner Brothers and Universal Studios to release some very high-end, almost like encyclopedic volumes of some of their classic movies. These are definitely expensive. They're for hardcore collectors, for sure. They're not gonna fit on your regular shelf, but they're very, very cool. And so I'm gonna break down a couple of them, show you what's inside, talk about these releases, and give my thoughts on the film vault. So I'll go behind the camera, do some unboxing work, and then I'll talk to you at the end. So here is one of the film vault releases. This is Scarface and you can see how they're all gonna be individually numbered. This was number three, but I really liked the Scarface package, so I started there. Now these have 4K discs in them, as well as Blu-rays. They're gonna have all these extras included, and you're gonna have a limited edition of 3000. This one with art from Matt Ferguson, who I interviewed on my podcast, and Flory from Vice Press. Now these are really, really beautiful releases, but as you can see, just a little bigger than my hand. So let me grab a standard Blu-ray. So here's a new Blu-ray release, Lyle Lyle Crocodile. You can see that these are a fair bit bigger and definitely a lot thicker than just your standard Blu-ray. So this is something, you know, you certainly have to find room for on the shelf. Now each of these releases comes with this acetate slipcover, which you can remove, and then you're just left with the awesome artwork all the way around so these are definitely you know meant to be displayed I would say these are for the collectors who want to display things and that's why I said they're like almost encyclopedic they're like you know hardcover books coffee table books this is like the coffee table book of 4k releases so as we open this up it has a little magnetic slip here on the inside you've got some more artwork with the famous quote and then you've got some really neat stuff so here is the packet that comes with this this is going to have your art cards and all your other goodies we'll break into that in a second now here is your 4k release this is in a pretty cool little set so you open this up and it has its own little slip cover I'm trying to do this with one hand so i apologize and then it folds out with some more neat artwork your 4K disc here, which even if you're not in the UK, your 4K disc will be region free. And then you do get your Blu-ray disc as well. So that's all packaged right here, nice and easy to pull out. Now everybody who buys this also gets this really cool individually numbered crystal display. Now mine isn't numbered because it was a promo copy, but you'll get a crystal display here, Al Pacino, Scarface, it's gonna have your number on it. So, you know, very cool. One thing is, this is sort of heavy and you can see how this slides. Well, that's because some of the cardboard here broke in shipping from the UK. So if I was them, I'd recommend a little bit heavier cardboard stock because this is a very heavy crystal piece. But everything else came in great shape. Now breaking open the envelope, here's where you're gonna get some of the goodies, including Al Pacino's or Tony Montana's green card. So this is your cool little, uh, each of these sets is gonna have like a little piece from the movie. You get the green card. You also get these character cards with a famous quote on them. So some nice art cards there with all the different quotes. So as well as those art cards, you also get these very cool behind the scenes photos. So here's a really neat one and they all have a story. You can see here, Steven Spielberg there on set. I guess he handled one of the cameras in the final shooting days. So that's cool. Here's another one here. And this one's going to be about the uh, how the film was shot and the Freedom Town sequences and how they did that. And so each of these is going to have some really cool details behind the scenes. Of course, we've got the poster art here with all the different information, director, cast, who wrote it, um, the world premiere, USA release. So, you know everything you want to know about Scarface is in here. And then you also get the definitive version of the film, the 4K disc. So 
it's really like, you know, the ultimate collector's edition, essentially. So the other films in this initial run include Blade Runner, the final cut, that's the original Blade Runner, Goodfellas, Scarface, which I just showed you, and 1917. So it is a collaboration. You've got Warner Brothers, you've got Universal. So these are all gonna come with different features. This has some more art cards as well as the reproduction spinner vehicle uh, design blueprint, which is cool. You're getting the feature film on 4K with some special features. Goodfellas here, also really incredible artwork. I love the way that these look on a shelf, which is why I've placed them up here next to my A24 screenplay books. They're really high quality. Now, a couple of the cons, I would say, you definitely have to be careful with the packaging. A couple of my slip covers here, they are plastic. They can get broken, they can get torn. I had one that was. I also mentioned the crystals on the inside. Those get shaken around. They're a little too heavy for the cardboard packaging. The only issue I have with any of the releases themselves is the Blade Runner one. Nothing against it. Great artwork, awesome set, but it doesn't include all the different cuts of the film, which you'd think for this price point and the Ultimate Collector's Edition from the Film Vault, you'd think you'd get that along with all the special features. So that was a little bit disappointing. Otherwise, I'll say these are very nice. All right, guys, so that is your first look at the film vault from Warner Brothers and Universal over in the UK. But these will be available in the US if you buy them from Zavi.com. They have a US and a UK site, and there are gonna be some other distributors, and you'll be able to buy them from Amazon UK and import them as well but they're gonna be starting in the UK. No plans right now for US releases, we will see. Now, I, I like the idea behind this. I like the idea that you know this is catered towards the collector. This is for the collector. Average Joe, maybe not buying this set, but if you really love the movie, you could get the average Joe to maybe pick up one of these to display on a shelf. So that's, that's a really cool way to get people into physical media. But I do think that you have to really love the movie to spend the money to upgrade to these. They're retailing right now for $65 each. That's what they're going for. So if you think about what you could buy the standard 4K releases for, it's you know three, four, five times more expensive. Now, there are benefits here with the packaging and the artwork is very cool. They're limited editions. These are not gonna last forever. There's some really cool collectible aspects to this set but i don't know that i'd see myself running out and buying these as somebody who loves physical media i see myself maybe buying one of these if it was my all-time favorite movie and maybe that's what they're shooting for blade runner goodfellas scarface those are certainly classics 1917 Seems a little bit too new and contemporary. I don't think it has the following. Those other three do. So I wouldn't be surprised if that one sells the least. But you know for sure that if Universal put out a Jaws version of this set, I would be there. I'd be buying that. So I see where it could be uh, beneficial. I see where collectors would really like this. Um, but honestly, for $65, I feel like I'd like to see a little bit more. It was sort of promoted that these were gonna have, you know, these these pieces from the film, like a green card or, you know, the, the blueprint for some of the, the ships in Blade Runner. That's cool, but like for $65, I'd really like to see something more tangible than you know, what essentially is a, a printed piece of cardboard, you know, a blueprint, a green card. Uh, 1917 has some family photos from the movie. Like, yes, cool, but I'd rather have like a miniature model of the ship from Blade Runner. And I'm not sure I'm getting a, a $65 feel. I could see these for 40 bucks, 65. I'm wanting a little bit more. You know, there are some very, very cool sets out there that have tangible, you know, physical statues and, and collectibles and, you know, things of that nature. And that's what I wanted to see from this set. So the crystal with the limited edition number is nice. The artwork is obviously amazing. And those guys, Matt Ferguson and his team at Vice Press, I mean, they've done 
an excellent job with these they're beautiful but I'm not sure that it's worth the $65. So that's just my two cents. So I do appreciate the uh, Warner Brothers Universal team over in the UK uh, for giving me the chance to, to check these out. I know not a lot of people uh, were, were sent these uh, in these promotional versions. So it was really neat to see them in person. It was awesome to check them out. And I certainly think they have a place somewhere in the physical media market. Uh, it may not be for us. It may be for people who aren't physical media enthusiasts, and it may just be for that hardcore collector. But if that works and it sells more physical media and it gives the studios more incentive to do cool things like this, then I'm all for it. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and thank you again to Warner Brothers and Universal for sending these out to me. I really appreciate getting an early look for you all. If you do want to pick them up, I'll leave some links in the description. So that's it for the video, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube so you never miss an update, whether it's a review, a podcast, an unboxing, an update, news, whatever it is. It's all going to be here on YouTube. And follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn. I'm everywhere. Come find me. Say hi. Great way to get in touch with me. Send me a DM, whatever you want to do. So I appreciate all the support. Uh, I really liked checking these out. I think there's a place for them in the market. We just have to maybe see some improvements, but hopefully they sell well and maybe they'll bring some new people into the world of physical media, which is always a good thing. So have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and stay healthy out there. And I will talk to you all soon.